So it's a beautiful morning in um, Istanbul. I'm jet lagged, the coffee is instant, and we are looking up hair transplant services as one does. These are people who've come to Istanbul, presumably from thousands of miles away in some cases, and spent thousands of dollars just to avoid looking like me. For years, Turkey has been at the center of a medical tourism boom. There are lots of high quality doctors. Istanbul is a great place to visit. And with hair transplants costing upwards of $25,000 in the US, here they can run less than $2,000. It's not exactly my idea of a fun family vacation, but for these guys, it is. Their collective lack of fear before heading into scalp surgery is puzzling. It makes me wonder, are men just more openly vain today or are we genetically designed to be fearless in the face of a great deal? How do you feel about today? Are you nervous at all? Yeah, yeah, I'm a little bit anxious. I met up with one of the thousands of men flocking here from across the world for a new head of hair to find out what's driving him. I don't mean to be the contrary, but you don't look to me like you need hair replacement <laughs> surgery. <laughs> the funny thing is you say that. I mean, speaking as myself. Well, <laughs> yeah, well, there is that. Yeah. Um, but for me, it's about restoring my temples and bringing my hairline. Because I, I have receded, my hair has yeah. receded as you get older. So I guess anything you can do to sort of take control over your life, make it seem as if, you know, time and nature is not in control, but you are, I'm sure that's very comforting. Tell me about your dating life. Well, I'm gay. OK. You know, I'm still single. Hope to, <laughs> to meet somebody one day. Right. Over half a million people a year travel to Turkey for medical tourism. At Asmed Clinic, Dr. Kore Erdogan does 600 hair transplants per year. Hair is power. In Turkish mythology, it's representing the power of life. Right. It's all related by how you feel. One available transplant procedure consists of hair being harvested follicle by follicle from the back of the patient's head and then re-implanted in the balding areas in front. If you are already completely bald, you are out of luck. But you knew that already. The hardest patients, yeah. not possible to make them happy. He lost his girlfriend. Right. He lost his job. And he lost something in his life. He's related this to his hair. When he thinks that when you give him his hair back, right. he will get all these things that he lost before. Right. These, this is the impossible case to make happy because the real, the real reason is not hair. And, and how often are they receptive to that? Nearly none of them. Right. I don't know if this is medicine or sympathetic magic. There just seemed to be this remarkable theatrical aspect to it. It wasn't so much like we're doing this to your head. It's like we're doing this for your life. 